Welcome back. In this video, I'm focusing on some basic styles for both the app component, so the background, getting things in the center, flexbox, the gradient back here, and then also our joke list component. Mainly just the dimensions of it, the purple sidebar, so no React specific content right now. In the next video, we'll work on getting the joke component to display and work and all of that in React. And then we'll style it, and then we'll come back and add new features, we'll style that, and so on. So let's begin by going to our app.js. All right, so we have app CSS included by default. We're going to basically delete everything in here. And I'm going to begin by restyling the app and making it display flex. I'm going to use flexbox for a lot of this. And I'm going to vertically and horizontally align things. So align items center, justify content center. And it is horizontally and vertically aligned except for our app component ends like right here. So I'm now going to say height is, if I can spell height, 100% of the view height. So basically 100 of the screen. And now it is centered in the middle. It's not very big, so it looks kind of odd being down there, but that's all right. Then we're going to come in here and give it a background gradient. So this gradient is that, um, like, I think it was a 135 degree angle. I guess it doesn't matter what the angle is really, but this gradient here, which is hardly a gradient. It's really just two colors, but it's made with a CSS gradient. I used a tool. There's many, if you just Google CSS gradient tool, uh, there's tools to help you design them. You can like visually change the colors with a color picker and change the angle, flip them back and forth. So it's a linear gradient with two colors. We have this like light blue and this pinkish color. And again, I just got this from a tool. I pick the colors I like, I change the angle, and I copy and pasted it. I did not sit here coming up with these percentages, even though it's relatively straightforward. 0 to 50, 50 to 100, 135 degree angle. It's just annoying to type all of this. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Not too shabby. Now we're going to work on the font. So I used a Google font called Rubik. I'm going to go to my index HTML and paste it in. I would just I would just copy from my solution. It's annoying to type this. Okay, so that's our font Rubik. Now in our app.js, I'm going to set font family to be Rubik sans serif. And I'm also going to give my text a sort of gray color, which is 78909C. There we go. All right, so we have this color. We're going to have a white background, so it will look better in a little. But that's it for the app component. So we can get out of our app, just CSS, close out of index HTML. Now let's work on the joke list and let's try and get this um, sidebar to show up as well as this container here where we'll eventually put all the jokes. So down to my render method, I'm going to, well, I already have my joke list. Inside that joke list, I'm going to make another div and this one will have a class name of joke list dash sidebar. That, or we could have called it just purple bar or something. And then inside of that, I'm going to move my h1 that says dad jokes. I'm also going to give that h1 a class name. And I'll call it joke list dash title. And I don't know if you saw this, but this dad is bolded and it's actually a different font, which we can decide if we like the two fonts or not. I wasn't sure, but it's bolded. So I'm going to put a span around that dad part just so that we can select that separately. Okay, so joke list, sidebar, joke list, title. Uh, we have our H1, span, and then below that, still in the sidebar, there's an image, and I found a nice flat laughing emoji face that is uh, licensed so that we can use it in this class. So below the H1, but still in that container, the joke list sidebar, we're going to set the source to be that, which again, I would just copy from my solution. Make sure you close the image tag. And then afterwards, we have our button to load new jokes. And so this button is going to say new jokes, something like that. And the class name for now is going to be joke list. Um, let's call it get more. Okay. So here's what we have in our sidebar, which is not really a sidebar right now. So we're going to do a lot of stuff in CSS. So I'm going to import a file that doesn't exist dot slash joke list dot CSS and I'm going to make it joke list dot CSS I'm going to open it up and we'll begin by making the entire joke list piece that entire div 
a flex box. So display flex, and I'm going to make it 80% wide, so 80% of the way across that app, and 80% tall. 80% there. Okay. Next, we'll style the joke list sidebar. And this sidebar has its own background color, that purple color, which is 9575CD. 9575CD. All right, we're starting to get a sidebar, sort of. Then we're going to also make this thing, the sidebar, display flex, and make it a column, flex direction column, which you probably won't notice much change. But then if we align items center and justify content center. Okay, so now things are centered here. We're also going to give this a width and I want it to be 30% away uh, across the joke list. So now we have 30% here and then 70% for everything else. Next, I have a box shadow. And just like with the gradient, I didn't make this from scratch. I used a tool online where you can drag and sort of change the shadow and different sliders and colors. And then it spits out something for you to copy and paste. So we have a couple of box shadows on the outside and then an inset shadow which it might be hard to tell on the video. I don't know how it's gonna export, but there's a slight dark purple on the inside as well as the box shadow around the edge on the outside. Next, let's work on the title. So joke list title has a large font size of four REMs, margin of two REMs. Color is going to be white. Font weight, I think by default is quite heavy. So I changed it to 300. If I didn't do that, this is what we end up with. So I like it at 300. And then I'm also going to give it letter spacing of 0 0.6 REMs, which is just going to space the letters out a bit more. And then we also have the span inside of our joke list title, which goes around the word dad. So I'm gonna bold that part. Font weight will be 700. There we go, dad, and then jokes. And I also give it letter spacing of zero just to undo what we did up top. So it's closer together and bolded. This is further apart and not bolded, it's lightweight. Next, let's tackle this massive image. So the image is really huge. So we're gonna do joke list dot sidebar or dash sidebar image. We could give it its own class, but there's only one image in the sidebar, so I'm okay with this. I'm gonna give it a 50% width to start. I'm also going to give it a box shadow, which once again, I used a box shadow helper for that. But this is what the box shadow is, there's two of them. Okay, but that's problematic as you can see because right now everything's a box. So I'm going to give it a border radius of 50%. There we go. Now I'm gonna skip over the button for now because we're gonna have a video devoted to the button. So next, we're gonna make the container area over here where all of the jokes will go. And we gave that a class of joke list dash jokes. All right, so let's style that down here, dot joke list dash jokes. And I'm gonna give it a height of 90% with a background so we can see it of white. Now why 90%? So this has a height of 100%, this is 90, and I want them, right now, this is uh, aligned at the top, but it, when I align it in the center, we'll have a little gap, so it looks like this. So 5% and 5%. So to do that, we're gonna take advantage of align self, which is part of Flexbox, center. There we go. Next, we'll give it a width of 70%, as well as overflow set to scroll, which we probably won't notice right now, but eventually we'll have a lot of content in here that is not gonna fit. And so we'll scroll over here inside of this div to see the rest of the jokes. And finally, once again, we have another box shadow. It's the same one that I used up here on the image. You can see we get a nice box shadow there. The last thing I'll come back and fix is that this purple sidebar in my example actually casts a shadow on top of the white. Right now it is being hidden by this white can see the box shadow here and then it disappears. So I'm going to use Z index on my joke list sidebar. Z index, let's just do two, any number right now because nothing really has Z index assigned. And there we go. 
it is showing up with the shadow on top. Okay, so that's our sidebar for now. It's still not perfect, but we've got a nice layout. So in the next video, we can focus on making our joke components.